So in our Bible story earlier, uh, when I was sat by the bonfire, we were thinking about the story from John's Gospel, chapter 21. You can read it there for yourself if you like. When Jesus gave Peter the opportunity to be forgiven three times for the times when Peter had lied three times about knowing Jesus. So it's easy, isn't it, to say that we love Jesus, but it's harder sometimes to actually stick to that um, when we're in a difficult situation or particularly when we're with people that don't believe in Jesus. We have to try hard and we have to persevere, but it is worth it. Um, and today's craft is going to be a little bit like that. It's a, a slightly trickier one, um, but it's worth persevering and trying and hopefully you'll like what you get at the end of it. So... It's quite simple in terms of what you need. You need a red pencil or crayon, some scissors, and the printout from our church website of this template. If you haven't got a printer, if you carefully trace it um, from the computer screen, as long as you get the size right and the letters in the right place, then it should work. So once you've got your printout, you'll see it says underneath to colour this one in red so I've done one here so you want to just color one of them in red the one with the P um, at the top the letter P is colored in red you can see there's lots of letters on there if you're very clever like one of my sons you'll be able to work out what our code is going to to spell once you've colored in that one red you're going to cut round each of these shapes and then you're going to cut the vertical lines, not all the way to the top, just to where they stop. So you'll end up with something that looks a little bit like a jellyfish, one in red and one in white. And then this is where we get to do the clever bit. We're going to do some weaving. So if you're quite a small person, you might want mummy or daddy to help you at this point. But once you get the hang of it, I think you'll be able to do it. So I want you to take the one with the E's at the top in one hand and the ones with the PTR in the other hand and you're going to take the white E strip and put it behind the R over the next one behind the T and I'm doing this backwards so I'm going to get a bit muddled over the next one and behind the P. So let me just move the other ones out of the way. Can you see that spells Peter? And you're going to keep going like that, but you're going to alternate it now. So with the next strip, you're going to put the sad face over the top so that you're starting with the white. And then you're going to go under. And you're going to keep going over and under, over and under, until you come out with this. And I'm not going to show it to you for too long because I want you to find out what you're going to end up with. You can see it's a lovely heart shape, but I want you to work out what the code is um, that the letters spell out and what the message is on there. I'd love to see your finished creations. Uh, you can send photos of those to me um, via our church website or by email, teresa at stjohnshartford.org.